handheld Pocket Pro Multi-2 can be used in the field to test several water quality parameters related to dissolved solids, including pH, conductivity, total dissolved solids, and salinity. In this video, we'll discuss how to calibrate the Pocket Pro. You can always refer to the manual for more information. We also have a separate video on standard use of the Pocket Pro that covers normal operation. That video and the manual are both available on SharePoint with the technical handbook. If you need help accessing these or have any questions, please contact the Charleston engineering team. The Pocket Pro needs to be calibrated to make sure we are getting accurate water quality results. The two parameters that need to be calibrated are pH and conductivity. The need for calibration is based on how these two parameters are measured. Conductivity needs to be calibrated before initial use, and then usually does not require calibration again after that. Because of the way pH is measured, it meets the initial calibration, but will also require ongoing calibrations to maintain the accuracy of the results. We'll demonstrate how to do both the initial calibration for conductivity and pH first, and then the ongoing calibrations for pH. But before we begin the calibration procedures, we should check our calibration settings. There are three different calibration settings to check. So we'll start by turning on our Pocket Pro by holding the power button. And then we can enter the settings menu by holding the settings button. Make sure to hold it until set shows on the screen. There are several settings in this menu. We just need to scroll through to reach the ones for calibration. To scroll through the options, we push the settings button once. That brings us to our first calibration setting. It should say pH buffer. We need to make sure that it says USA here on the bottom of the screen. That's so it will use the standards that come with our Pocket Pro. If yours does not say USA here on the bottom, scroll through the options by clicking the arrow button once until it reads USA on the bottom. Once that's set, we can advance to the next setting. So again, we'll push the settings button once to move on. The next one should say conductivity standard. We need to make sure it says AUT in the bottom for auto. Again, that's so it will use the auto recognition standards that come with our Pocket Pros. If it doesn't say auto, push the arrow button until it does. Once it says auto, we can move on to our third and final calibration setting. Push the settings menu until ACAL reads on the screen. It should take six presses. Now it reads pH ACAL. This setting allows us to set a reminder for when the pH needs to be recalibrated. It's not required, but we always recommend that you turn this on so that we're always remembering to recalibrate our pH for accurate results. In order to turn it on and off, use the arrow button to select the one you want. I'm gonna leave it set to on on my Pocket Pro. When we're done verifying settings, we can hold the settings button to exit the menu. That brings us back to the normal operating mode. Now that we've verified all of our calibration settings, we're ready to move on to the calibration procedures. We'll start by demonstrating the initial calibration procedures. So this is what we would do when we first receive a new test kit that hasn't been used before. Always do this initial calibration before using the Pocket Pro for the first time. So we'll say this is our brand new Pocket Pro and that all we've done so far is install the battery. Each test kit comes with two different single-use calibration standards for this purpose, one for conductivity and one for pH. We'll also need some water for rinsing. Use deionized water if you have that in your office, otherwise use clean tap water. For conductivity, we'll use the conductivity standard, which is this one. The term conductivity standard simply means that it's a solution with a known conductivity. So this one is 1,413 microsiemens per centimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. You can tear the top or cut it with scissors. And I'm just gonna set that back here for later. Now we're ready to begin. So you can turn on the Pocket Pro by holding the power button. 
then we need to make sure to pull conductivity up on the screen. So we'll use the arrow button to advance to the parameters until we get to conductivity, which is the next one here. We always need to make sure that the parameter we're trying to calibrate is the one that's displayed on the screen before we begin. Now we can enter calibration mode. We'll do that by pressing the button with the calibration symbol, this graph here, for just a second. This is calibration mode for conductivity. It should have the calibration symbol in the lower left corner. Again, that's this graph here. The next thing we'll need to do is discard the water that our Pocket Pro is stored in. And then we'll rinse both the sensor and the cap. And now we're ready for our calibration standard. So we'll grab our packet and we'll fill the cap to just below the fill line. Now we can push the cap firmly onto the Pocket Pro. And you'll notice that the number on the bottom matches what was on our calibration packet. 1413 and 1413. That's because these are auto recognition standards. So this is what the Pocket Pro is expecting. It should always match what's on your packet. This number here is what the Pocket Pro is actually reading. So we want to wait until this number stabilizes. It may take a few seconds. Once it stabilizes, we'll save the reading by pressing the calibration button once. It'll flash to indicate that it's saving the reading, and then it will end calibration mode and return back to the normal operation mode. That's it for the conductivity calibration. Again, this should be the only time that the conductivity needs to be calibrated. But if you're having any trouble with the conductivity readings or getting results that seem inaccurate, you can try recalibrating again or contact the Charleston engineering team for help. Next, we'll do the initial calibration for pH. It's a very similar process. This is our pH standard. Again, that just means that it's a solution with a known pH. This one is seven. So we'll open that up. Set it aside for later. Again, we need to make sure that the parameter that we're calibrating is shown on the screen. So we'll use the arrow buttons until pH displays. Make sure to hold the button until it advances to the next parameter. And keep going until it says pH, which is this one. Now we can enter calibration mode. Again, we'll do that by pressing the calibration button for a second. This is calibration mode for pH. Again, it should have the calibration 